Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Friday, March 29th. Good Friday. Markets are closed. So quick recap of the markets for the week and then we'll jump into my trades. Starting with SPX, brand new all-time high, 5264.85. Uh, NDX did not hit a new all-time high. It was a little bit weaker. Uh, still just hovering just below all-time highs, but not a new one. Uh, Rut had a strong week, not anywhere near its all-time highs, but did break above its recent little peak. Uh, and then the Dow Jones almost got to all-time highs, but held off just short on Friday. Uh, gold, new all-time high, 2256.9 an ounce. Silver, not nearly as strong. Did have a big uh, a little bounce Thursday and a big bounce Friday. Notes and bonds higher. 10-year yield settling in at 4.209. Oil, big bounce Thursday, Friday, up to 80, over $83 a barrel. Natty gas at 1.752. Uh, soybeans a little bit lower on the week. Corn and wheat, big bounce, uh, especially corn on Friday. I had a big move up to uh, 442 euro and the pound weaker us dollar getting stronger uh, relative and then bitcoin <clears throat> up this week not back to all-time high or not back to uh yeah all-time highs yet but settling in at 71,480 and then the vix 13.01 so that that low that we saw back in december of 2023 got down to 11.81. Hopefully we don't see that again and we kind of expand after this spring break, short holiday, low volume uh, trading week. Hopefully we get back to some uh, little pops up in VIX, but we'll see. All right, so let's jump into my trades. Really good week of trading. Uh, so let's go the let's go through these by category, starting with. Zero DTE. So a little over 60K uh, on zero DTE. Break these down a little bit. <clears throat> AM trades. Uh, three AM trades for plus 17,000. All three of those were winners. Uh, my challenge portfolio, which includes Rick, re entries, and one DTE. Uh, only one losing trade, and that was a. Uh, what was that? That was a that was a one DTE trade. Yeah, the, the rest all winners. So almost twenty one thousand on my challenge portfolio for the week. Wait, did I miss one? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. End of day. My Magic Mahomes three winners. Uh, plus 7,000. FOMC. Oh, that was last week. So, yeah, no FOMC trades this week. Uh, I've got a hedge that I'll be talking about <clears throat> here in my trade plan for next month. JSPs, I did have a, a winner, just one trade. Uh, my NDX trade, one loser, four winners, plus 1,500. Uh, and then power hour for the week. <clears throat> Not a lot of power hour trades. Uh, just one Wooga for plus 460. And then my afternoon, my PM trades. None of those. My price action trades. Five of those, one loser plus 4,440. My quiet midday tranches. Uh, that was, <clears throat> these are all the tranches together each of these days. So on the 25th, total of 2,800. On Friday, those will settle out. The, the long options that expired haven't settled, but it'll be about 3,500. So plus 6,300 on those. And then lastly, uh, these are discretionary ricks, couple winners there, small, plus 1,500 total. 
And then my O2 call calendar, none of those this week. All right, so that's it for zero DTE. Uh, directional futures. Plus 1,600, uh, one of which was an MOC trade. That actually, I flagged myself. I, I, sh I, I closed out part of that early uh, where I usually just, let it go and and so it should have been a, a much bigger winner but still a thousand thousand dollar winner um nonetheless and then um let's see next category is no ducks dynamic butterflies just two opening trades no closes there uh dynamic calendars So, yeah, I mean, I, I stayed super small, but it ended up being a red week, minus 9.15. I, I talked about it on a couple of live streams. I just I should not have even trade it, traded them. I know better. Low volume, holiday week, they just don't tend to perform. They don't have the, the edge that they do outside that. So note to self, once again, do not trade on shortened holiday weeks. Uh, I mean, I scaled down my position size super low. Uh, but still, I mean, 915 bucks for no reason. Um, all right, so that's calendars. Uh, option selling. Just one winner. Uh, short strangle in SMH. This is a roll, so it's still open. And lastly, portfolio margin trades. No closing trades. That's... That one will end up being like a twelve hundred dollar winner after the uh, after the other pieces settle at expiration. So uh, that is it, my friends. I'll be doing my monthly recap uh, here later today and post that. Hope everybody has a good Easter. Take care. Talk to you next week.